Yumindigi has made quite a few phones over the time and the A3 Pro is one of the latest budget offerings that costs just about 100 bucks. It's actually an upgraded model over the regular A3. Stay tuned to the full review. The phone ships with all the usual stuff and some extras include a really nice soft TPU case. I think that design and build are the main selling points of the device. The Human Digi A3 Pro has a 5.7 inch display that is quite nice and sharp and it has relatively small bezels. The phone also has a metal frame, nice metal buttons, a glass backplate, dual cameras on the back, 8 megapixel shooter on the front, LED notification light, a hybrid dual SIM card slot, a headphone jack and a micro USB port for charging and syncing. The fingerprint scanner is not really fast and it's not always accurate but well it does the job. The phone also has a face unlock feature that kind of works but it's not always reliable and it's kind of slow. The loudspeaker is quite decent for a budget phone, here is a quick audio sample. As you may expect, the Yume Digi A3 Pro does not have great specs since it's very cheap. That's why you should not expect to play any 3D games on it unless you like playing games with stutter and skipped frames. Well, this is a $100 phone after all. Android 8.1 is the base of the user interface. There is no bloatware or many added features so you can enjoy a stock Android experience. The overall performance is pretty good, however, you should expect to see occasional stutter and quite a few skipped frames. Also, the phone may start lagging if you keep a lot of apps running in the background. The overall image quality is surprisingly good for such a cheap device. Honestly, you can't get anything better than this for just 100 bucks. Even selfies look quite good. Obviously, you won't be taking any nice low-light or bokeh pictures with this phone. Even the video shot using the main and the front-facing cameras looks quite good considering such a low price of the device. I had no issues with connectivity on this phone. The battery life is about 8 hours of screen on time under light usage. If you use the phone more intensively, you should get about 5 hours of SOT. Overall, the Yumi Digi A3 Pro is quite a nice super cheap phone. Obviously, you can't expect great specifications at this price point and you may see a bit of stutter in the UI. The gaming performance is not great but other than that, you get a lot of value for the price. For just about 100 bucks, you get a nice design, good build, sharp display and even the cameras can take nice pictures in good light. Finally, the Yumi Digi A3 Pro is definitely not perfect but for the price, I think it's a great bang for the buck. I also wanted to show you guys the Yumi Digi Fitness Tracker that costs just about 30 bucks. I like its build quality as the case is made of metal. I also like its simple design and the watch is comfortable to wear. In addition, the tracker has simple yet intuitive user interface that is packed with features. Just to name a few, it tracks your steps, sleep, it measures your heart rate, it works as a remote shutter for your phone and more. There are also quite a few settings to play with. Overall, I think this is a nice fitness tracker that is packed with features and it sports a premium metal and a glass design. It's been working fine for me for the past week, so I can recommend you checking it out. What do you think about the Yumi Digi A3 Pro and what do you think about the Yumi Digi Fitness Tracker? As always, drop me a comment down below, like the video if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, it was Lionus, thank you for watching and see you soon.